voiceover. Hello there, beautiful souls. I'm lovely. Or call me Jay. Whatever. Today, I am creating a new challenge. Now, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. If it's gonna be good, bad, don't really care. Doing this for fun. And my sister also recommended me. So, it's called the dice challenge. Basically, we roll the dice, and on which number it lands on, you, we use that number for that article of clothing. You have multiple categories. Shirts, pants, shoes, accessories, so on. And we create some crazy outfits. Well, the dice does it for us. Now, here are some rules. You cannot use the same number twice. Let's say you get a number two for a shirt. And then you land on a number two again for pants. You cannot use it, you have to roll it again. And you have one try. You cannot roll the dice twice unless you land on a number that you already used or if you get the same article of clothing. And lastly, have fun! I mean, come on, you gotta have fun. You basically choose six different articles of clothing and pray it's gonna turn out good. Like, my choices are all over the place. <sighs> we have casual ones, girly ones, fancy ones. Whatever you prefer. It's there. Probably. Not really. And, you know, while filming I realized that I forgot to put some hairstyles. So we're gonna do that as a bonus round. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first category are shirts. Now, I added a dress just to make things easier for me, but I didn't. You'll see in the second round what I mean, but you know, enjoy. Now that you saw all of the pieces, it's time to roll the dice. Now, can we get some drum, please? Brrrr. And we got numero tres, aka number three. If you don't know Espanol, now. Now, I apologize for the glare because I wasn't filming in my room, I was filming somewhere else. So I didn't saw that I had a glare on my drawing, especially while I was drawing with the color pencil. So you kind of have to deal with that for a moment. But I'm finally doing voiceover and I'm finally talking, so you can just listen to me ramble about how amazing and incredible you are. Yes, I do this thing on Instagram called Daily Reminders where I remind everyone how amazing and beautiful and incredible they are. So I'm doing that to you right now. You are incredible and gorgeous and y'all better be loving yourself and respecting yourself because we don't have time to focus on other people's opinions. Honestly, if we did that and take every opinion to heart, we will going to be broken every single day, every single time and we will never heal and never feel good about ourselves and what's the point in that? Life is short, might as well live it to the fullest, you know? You know, after me doing the hard work and getting that content for you guys, I finally decided to check, you know, if everything was alright, focused, you know, tippity top. And then I saw finally that we have a glare, so I finally decided to zoom in. You can still see the glare and oh my god I hate that glare but doesn't matter because I was basically done anyway so might as well move on and hopefully we can do something about this and we sure will because I am editing this so I know for a fact that we will second category are the pants we only have five pieces because we didn't need it, the sixth one because we had the dress in the first one and i really like these pieces especially the ones that we were about to get so let's roll the dice the number is brrr, number five honestly i felt like lord was on my side that time because i really wanted to get good pants with this shirt and I did oh yeah also I totally forgot I get distracted while I'm drawing the pants because there was this old man 
fighting with the cashier about not giving his change correctly because he didn't hurt her how much he needed to pay and I was like oh my god I cannot concentrate I need to stay you know priorities once the drama was over I went back and finished the pants and while you're watching me that I am promoting my patreon you know if you're considering supporting me you know because that girl needs money you can join my patreon I post exclusive content there like like my own designs of various outfits ball gowns crowns literally whatever comes to my mind I also post self-love posts and motivating uplifting posts so to keep you guys uplifted during these crazy times right now and also some stories that I never get to share so if you're considering link is in the description with that side we are moving to the third category which are shoes honestly I love all the pieces that I choose I'm a bias for sneakers so I'ma say my sneakers are favorite especially the gray ones and I know for a fact that I will never find them and might as well make peace with myself. So let's move on. We are about to roll the dice and the number is cuatro. The dice is gonna get out of frame. And we got the gray sneakers that I really like, you know. While you're looking at it on the drawing, it will not look bad. It will actually look decent and I'm very surprised. But in real life, when you look all the three, you know, pieces together, they don't go well because the pants and shirt are more fancy than the sneakers. Now, here's the thing. I think it only looks decent because I'm not coloring this. I'm only lining it, so maybe it's because of that. I don't know. Now, moving on to hair. We are not using the videos. Videos don't count. Only the actual pictures, so... That's why I counted from the second one, we got number three. And we kind of got this Kim Kardashian hairstyle, I don't know, I don't care, honestly. With that being said, I finished my first outfit, really like it, don't know about the shoes, but I still like the whole thing, it looks decent, and now we are on to the next round. So this is the second round, you know how it goes, you already seen all the drills, so... I will talk about something else while you're all watching this and first thing that I want to say is that if you have nothing else to read today you can check out my webtoon called Angelic Love I wrote that story literally 10 years ago it's crazy the story is all over the place but I trust me you're gonna like it because it's really good even though it's so messy it's so good at the same time so if you're interested link is in the description also, back to the more positive stuff, I'll try and make these voiceovers more frequent. I don't know if I will, don't take my word for it, I'll try. But I want to talk about some experiences that I went through and some of the insecurities that I have because I know it can get lonely and I want to tell you right here and right now that it does get better, you get better, your life will be better and honestly, life is just made to be hard sometimes so we can see the true meaning of happiness and what we take things for granted now moving on you saw me struggling with the dice i was getting the number that i didn't need it anymore and the number we finally got was three and oh my god now you see why i hate this outfit so much and also i felt so bitter that i wanted to cheat but I suck it up and I did it anyway because we cannot have everything in life so might as well just do it anyway you're probably thinking to yourself like lovely why are you making such a big deal you're not wearing that outfit so stop being so dramatic and to you I say life sometimes needs to be dramatic now it's time for the shoes now you see why I hate this outfit so much but we are moving along and while I'm doing that, I'm doing another selfless promo, which is my coffee page. I'm actually opening chippy commissions soon on there, so if you're interested, the link is in the description.
With that being said, I finally finished the second outfit and my final thoughts are I like the first one better than the other one. I know I said it multiple times, but it's true. Also, if you want to join as well, use the hashtag DiceChallenge and tag me on Instagram. My username is at jlovelystory. I'm really curious to see what will your results be. And also, thanks for watching. If you want more, subscribe to my channel. I post every Friday and sometimes on Sundays. And again, if you're interested, join my Patreon, check out my coffee page. I also post very exclusive things on there. And, and if you have nothing else to read, check out my webtoon called Angelic Love. The chapter 7 is coming very soon. And with that being said, I'll see you next time. Also, don't forget to turn that bell icon to get notified when I post. See ya!